Hey everyone, how are you doing today? We're going to be talking about the Brain of Cthulhu boss in Terraria. Now, if you're playing in the Crimson Evil Biome, you're going to be fighting the Brain of Cthulhu. Now, don't be worried, he's pretty, pretty easy. All you're going to have to do is pretty much follow what I do in this video and you'll be totally fine. Now, a couple things to talk about. You can get the baby rattle, you can get the brain mask, and also you're going to get that steam achievement that only 35% of the people have. And that's what we're after, folks. We want to just gather all of the items and the achievements in the game and make sure that we can just keep getting everything completed. Now, this fight was pretty easy, like I said before. We're just building our platform. This is going to be the first time we've ever fought him, so this should be a lot of fun. But, you know, pretty pretty standard to build yourself an arena and make sure you've got enough room to fight. Come prepared with potions and, you know, you get your heart lamp, your heart lantern set up with your campfire. And you're good. You're good there. You get that extra life regen. But yeah, so this this boss took probably the longest to get the trophy out of all of them we've killed so far. The last one we just have to get now in pre-hard mode is the Wall of Flesh. We will be making a video for the Skeletron boss as well as the King Slime boss just to show you all of the possible items that you can get from, from those two bosses. And... You know, that's that's what we're after is we're just trying to clean up all of these achievements and get all of the items in the game so that, you know, if there's something to craft in the future or there's some really cool combo that you can do with these items, we want to just be able to have them all, so. The brain looks pretty cool. Um, we, we've worn it for like a day or so. And we're going to see, uh, see what else we can find. So we're just setting up the stage here, setting up the arena, getting ready for our first battle. We're not too concerned about it because like I said before, we're, uh, we're pretty set up. We've got some really good armor and a pretty strong sword and a great bow as well. One thing I will say about this game is there's a lot of items, and that's amazing. It's just I always feel like I'm like overwhelmed with putting things away and staying organized to some degree. But at the same time, like it's uh, once you have your your chest set up at the base, I mean it's it's pretty good. So all right, so we can't shoot him right away. Okay, so we're just we gotta kill these first. Okay. Oh wow, this sword is shredding him. Holy. Okay, so that's cool. So as you kill those flying eyes, it does damage to him. Okay, that makes sense. Sweet. Oh, what is this? Okay, so he's got like this like other stage where it looks like he's like uh, like teleporting and like being all elusive. All right. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> That was a lot easier than I expected. Awesome. Alright, so what did we get? So the first time... Okay, so there's the bone rattle. As we were talking about before. We got the bone rattle for the first time. That's awesome. I couldn't remember if we got it on the first try or not. But yeah, that bone rattle has got a pretty low drop rate. So that's really awesome to see that we got it on the first try. I think it's roughly like 5%, but I might be wrong. Um... But uh, the other two items that we had to work hard for were, were the uh, the brain of Cthulhu and uh, and getting that trophy. And like I said before, like getting that trophy took the longest. I think we we probably had to kill him like 20-ish times. And it does take a little while to farm the vertebrae in order to make the bloody spines. 
in order to spawn him. But regardless, though, like, um, I'll put the uh, recipe up here so you guys can see just how to respawn him after you kill him the first time. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, like, once you kill him, he's he's a really easy kill. Go and get that achievement and get that brain because it's pretty cool. The baby rattle. We're not really sure what the point of pets are in this game if they don't serve a purpose. If they're to just look cool, then that's fine. But yeah, we're just not really sure if it's just kind of like for looks and like maybe you can get some really cool pets that do more than just, you know, look cool, but we're not sure. So one thing we are really looking forward to is just getting all of the items and all of the trophies in pre-hard mode and then working our way into hard mode so that we can just continue progressing in this game. Because, I mean, as we are playing through pre-hard mode again with these items, obviously we're not really struggling too much to stay alive or to fight. And also there's not really a whole lot of like better gear. Like there really isn't better gear in pre-hard mode compared to hard mode. So we just want to get back into hard mode once we have all of these trophies and you know the idea is to just get every possible achievement and every possible item that we can guys um, we've been having a lot of fun just upgrading our base we've got a, ourselves a potion garden now uh, we've made the axe of regrowth um, yeah we're just trying to trying to experience everything and finally guys that was probably like the 20th time 25th time killing them we got it. Let's go. Hey guys, it's that awkward time where we ask for a like and a sub, but it does make a big difference. So help us out. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.